Do you know about Rani Ahilya Bai Holkar? Yes. If you don't know, I will tell you the story of Rani Ahilya Bai Holkar. Ahilya Bai was born in a village named Chandi in Jamkhe, Maharashtra. In 1725, her father Mankoji Rao Shinde was a patal of the village. Ahilya Bai was not born in any kingdom. So how she become a queen? The story behind this is very interesting. In Maharashtra, there was rule of Maratha Empire and the PM was Peshwa Bajira. Under him, Malhar Rao Holkar was appointed to work in Indore. Malwa. One day, Malhar Rao Holkar was going for his work to Chandigarh and he saw a little cute girl named Ahilya Bai. She was worshipping Lord Shiva and praying and Malhar Rao seen him and he was very impressed towards her ability. At the age of only 8 years, Malhar Rao see many qualities under Ahilya and he decided to marry Ahilya Bai Holkar with Khanderao Holkar, his son. And he didn't had interest in working in court of Malwa. But after their marriage, Ahilya Bai encouraged Khande Rao to, to go in court and solve the problems. And with the help of Ahilya Bai Holkar, slowly and slowly, Khande Rao, Khande Rao also was becoming a good person, a good king. They both worked for Malwa sincerely for their people. Ahilya Bai has two kids, one daughter and one son. One day when there was a fight called Kumbher fight in which both Ahilya and Khande Rao gone to fight with the Jats. Ahilya Bai Holkar's husband Khandera Holkar was killed. After Khandera's death, his only son Mali Rao Holkar became the ruler of Indore in 1766 under Ahilya Bai's regency. But he also died within few months. Ahilya Bai became the ruler of Indore after the death of her son with Khande Rao. After Khande Rao and Malhe Rao dead, only Ahilya Bai was the queen of Indore. Raghuba, Peshwa of the Maratha Empire, saw that in Malwa only Ahilya Bai Holkar is left and he could capture the area. When Ahilya Bai came to know this, she told, We are ready with our women soldiers and gave a letter to the Goba. Our sword will run as soon as your army comes across the Shipra River. Keeping this in mind, take steps. You want to snatch will never be fulfilled. You have given me a pact, but you will know how bad I am in the room sector. The army of women under me will face you. Even if I lose, no one will laugh. But remember, if you lose, you will not be able to see your face anywhere. Then the stigma of attacking Abla will never go away. Considering all these things, it is better not to take the chance of fighting. 
by these words of the great queen ragoba changed his plan when ragoba got this message from ahilya bai he got worried he said is this the voice of any helpless woman this is a lioness then the ragoba sent letter to ahilya that he don't want to fight with them and he taken his step back he and he told an excuse that he don't want to fight with ahilya bai he is just coming to indo indor to express his sympathy towards his son's death to this ahilya bai sent a reply that what is the need to bring an army to express sympathy for that you come here alone holkar state will welcome you like this ahilya bai holkar protected her holkar state and she became so popular she built many many of the temples and rebuilt the famous kashi vishwanath temple in varanasi which was destroyed by aurangzeb in 1669 that's why she is my role model now you all comment who is your inspiration thanks for watching bye